today we're going to start the makeover of this old bedside. Um, I'm going to talk you through the preparation I've done um, and then also show you how I put my first coat of paint on. Um, so first up I have, you'll notice that there's some bits here. Um, this is where I've just used some wood filler um, to fill the old holes where the old handles used to be. I just didn't like them. I think they'll look better with some different ones on. Um, so I've just used the wood filler um, and then taken a bit of sanding paper and sanded that back so that I'll be able to drill a new hole um, slightly lower than the, um, the position of the old one, which will look better. Um, in terms of preparation of the piece overall, I'm going to use Annie Sloan chalk paint, of course. Um, the reason I use that is because you don't need to do any preparation really with it. Um, so first thing I've done is I've literally wiped the whole thing down with a damp cloth. And that's basically just to get rid of the dust or any um, accumulated grease or anything in it. Um, but all I've used is a damp cloth. There's no cleaning materials or anything with it. It's just a bit of water um, and just a wipe down. Um, next thing to think about when you're painting a chest of drawers um, is the preparation of the actual drawers themselves. Now, all I've done here is I've put a little bit of masking tape down this seam. I'm only gonna paint to here. I'm not actually gonna paint this bit. Um, Annie Sloan chalk paint is so beautifully thick that if I put a coat of paint here as well, I may not be able to slide the drawers in and out anymore. So just a little bit of masking tape here, and then you'll have a nice clean edge um, where the paint will stop. So it'll just look a bit more professional. Um, so I've done that to all of my drawers already. Um, now the paint I'm gonna use today is a mix that I've just made. Um, it's actually French linen, which is a beautiful, um, warm, taupey grey. Um, but I don't want it as dark as that. I want to make a softer, lighter grey. So all I've done is I've mixed some old white into it. The quantities are about half and half. Um, <clears throat> so I've just mixed those up in a separate container. And you can see there's the gorgeous colour that we're going to paint in. Um, do always give your paint a stir before you start painting. Um, I'm then going to use uh, a bristle brush, uh, one of the Annie Sloan bristle brushes. I paint everything using the, the medium one. I find it holds loads of paint. Um, and where I've got carved detail, which actually this piece doesn't really, um, I find it's really good to just jab the paint into any detail. So, let's get painting. I'll just move these off the top. So the first thing I did was I put my brush in some water. I just wanted to make the bristles damp. Um, by doing that, the paint will flow off them much better um, than if they were dry. So the paint will just flow off the bristles rather than clogging in the bristles. So I'm just going to take some paint off my mixing stick there. And we're ready to go. The preparation really is as simple as that. Um, I'll turn this round. I'm going to paint this side first. So I'm going to get a bit of paint on my brush, not a massive amount, but there's a, you know, there's a good dollop on there. Um, and now I'm just going to paint any which way over this surface um, using nice big brush strokes. Um, but at the moment, I'm going all over the place, literally just putting a nice coat of paint on there, um, moving it around so it's quite even. Um, it's fairly thick, I'm not making it super thin, I'm not making it super smooth, so I'm just going to cover all of those surfaces. Have a bit more paint. Just move that around. Now you can paint 
um, in a very kind of rough style fashion, uh, moving your brush any which way. I'm actually going to finish this one with a bit more of a, a smooth finish, not super smooth. I actually quite like to see the brush strokes. I'm not trying to hide the fact that it's been painted. Um, so all I'll do on that side now, just check I've got it underneath there, because if you're lying in bed and you can see underneath it, you don't want to see a bit of this nasty old dark wood. Um, so now I've got a nice coat of paint on there. I just want to smooth these bits down. So my brush strokes are all going in one direction. It's not perfect. I don't like perfect, to be honest. Unless it's a cup of tea. Um, right, so that's those bits all done fairly smoothly. So now I'll move on to another side. In fact, I'll flip it right round and we'll do this other side next. In fact, I'll come round here. So I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. So literally loading my brush. And slapping a coat of paint on. I always tend to do the top surface last, partly so I can leave my paint there and also I'm always leaning my hand on that so that surface is always the last one I do. So I tend to start either side and then do each drawer individually. more paint. Again, any which way at this stage. And then I'll even it out in a minute. Don't forget the legs. Get a little bit in there and a little bit behind that one. Okay, and um, check under there again to check that I've got it all, I have. And now I'm just going to smooth that out again with my brush going all in one direction. So just kind of evening those paint strokes out. Nothing too perfect. Keep it easy, keep it quick and easy and simple. And then this little bottom bit again. So you can see it's brilliant coverage already. It might need a second coat, but just a thin one. Um, but we'll see, we can come back to that. And I'll turn it around again. And now I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna take all of the drawers out. just paint this front bit. There we go. I'll go down this side. Oh, make sure I do under that surface there. If you can, it's always a good idea to raise your piece of furniture up, if it's something small, um, just to save the, the tension and the stress on your back. Um, it just makes it much more pleasurable as well. And this little side bit here. So we don't want any of that nasty old dark wood showing. for the bottom and the feet and just going into those back bits there so that the whole lot that would be visible is covered and again I'm just going to smooth that paint out all in one direction 
The only reason I'm doing it in one direction is because I want it to have quite a clean look at the end. Okay. Now let's do the drawers. So I've got them prepared there at the sides on all of them. And I'm just gonna put a coat of paint over each one of these. That's quite handy, I can lean it on there. Um, so again, nice big brush strokes. Don't worry about being really precise. You do want to cover the whole area. Um, and just do a light bit on these edges next to the masking tape. Um, fairly thin so that those bits don't get stuck. So just like that. And of course, don't forget this bit. I'm not actually going to worry about the bit underneath the drawer, this bit here, because again, the paint's quite thick. You can see how thick it is with the coverage. Um, I'm not going to put it there because I don't want the drawers to, to uh, bash against each other as you slide them in and out when it's finished. So again, I'll just smooth that paint out there, all in one direction. And that draw's done. Um, so just moving on to the next one, exactly the same process, nice and easy. Getting those side bits done. And this one here. the side of drawers but you need to be careful um, to make sure before you start that there's enough wiggle room there uh, to enable them to take a coat of paint as a rule of thumb I don't tend to bother after all it's only you that's ever looking in your drawers hopefully and on to the third drawer so satisfying because it's so quick and easy and you can see the difference that you've made really quickly the last draw. Um, and now of course not forgetting the top of the piece um, so again it's just a quick coat of paint over the top any which way to start just smooth it out 
it nice and evenly, if that's the look you're going for. Um, so now I'm just going to leave it to dry. That'll probably take, I don't know, less than an hour to dry. Uh, it's quite warm in my studio today, so yeah, probably less than an hour. And then I'll probably put a second coat on, but we can cover that together later.